everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're going to be at freezing temperatures throughout the game today between the Boston College Eagles and the Connecticut Huskies. One of my favorite times in all of sports, the College Bowl season. I can't wait for this one to kick off. And here come the Huskies. The Huskies appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Boston College is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. Boston College, that's right. I'm picking D.C. Boston College lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Kicks it off. Number 83, passes at the five. It could be a long day for this right tackle as he takes on the challenge of blocking this animal at defensive end. We're going to have the opportunity to see a guy who can really create problems by getting to the quarterback. And something tells me he's going to be getting to the quarterback a lot today. He's not exactly going against the best right tackle in the world. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 37. Connecticut comes out in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. Out of bounds. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and 10. Ball on the 49. The Huskies line up with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Connecticut goes with the ace set here. He's hit and got away. He's shaking big move. And he's taken down. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's third down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Ace backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the right. Found his man. And to push him out. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Husky go with the eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. That's a seven-yard gain. Ace backfield. There's a the play fake with the throw. And he dropped it. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. They come out in a goal line set. He 
Dukes. Brought down. Well, Kirk, he managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. Pitches right, breaks one, and they got him for a loss. That toss had no room to work as the defense had the hot pursuit. Man, they just scorched the field to get to him. I can see where the turf is gone. The Huskies line up in an I formation. They hand it off. A little juke. They'll bring him down. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. Come out in a two tight end set. Toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Look at that. The Blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. It's up. And it splits the upright. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number one, fields it at the three. He jukes him. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 24. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Here's the give. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 19. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. Hand off up the middle, makes a move. And down he goes. The halfback runs for four yards. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Boston College comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He steps up under pressure. And down he goes. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Punt this one away. Number 46 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 26 takes it to 36. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll go to work at the 35. They line up in a double tight set. Option to the right. He lateral. Here he goes. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Tackle. 
Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a nickel. Here's a pitch, left side. Big opening! And they tackle him. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. First and ten. Ball on the 28. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. The freshman makes the catch. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score. Connecticut 3, Boston College nothing. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Connecticut will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll throw for the first. Looks, throws this one out to the left. And got it complete. Brought down. Connecticut comes out in the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. for a loss. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Great. Number 44 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. Wants to throw outside. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. on the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Connecticut 10, Boston College nothing.
everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number one takes it at the four. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll, take over They'll start the this drive at the 30-yard line. Ace backfield. Here's a little draw play. Tries to juke. Big opening. And down he goes. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First and 10. Ball on their own 44. There's a play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Complete. And he's tackled. About three yards on the play fake. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 47. The Eagles line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10, ball on the 44. Boston College goes with the ace set here. They go with the toss, and he's going to throw. Throws on the run. He's knocked out of bounds. So they pick up a couple on the gadget play, but we usually see those plays go for bigger gains than that. It's second down and four to go, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Boston College sets up in the eye. And they hit him in the backfield. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. They went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third and five. This is the sixth play of this drive. Boston College in a four wide set. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. No can do on that run. That'll bring up fourth down. Boy, you're absolutely right. Those guys got in there and shut them down, and now they're all fired up. up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Big opening. The ten. And he's all the way down to the one-yard line. Boston College takes a timeout. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Touchdown, Boston College. They used pure power to get it over the goal line. Yeah, those guys on the line 
crush the defenders. the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score Connecticut 10, Boston College 7. like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 41, fields it at the two. Little shake and bake move. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over at the 22. Nickel defense. They'll throw on first down. Throws. And it falls incomplete. Oh, man. He just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call. Bad pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 22. Connecticut lines up in a double tight set. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And they make the stop. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Anytime a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. Eleven yards out. College Eagles take over at the eleven yard line. First and ten. Boston College sets up in the eye. Sheds that one. And he's tackled. Boston College calls a timeout. Have a look at our old spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Boston College comes out with an eye formation. They'll run the option. They'll drop him for a loss. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. On the 11, going in. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. He's going left, and it's caught. They'll bring him down. That's a seven-yard gain. Comes out to try and tie things up. Kick is up, and it sails through the upright. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Boston College lines up for the kickoff. Here's 
the kick. Number 83 fields it at the 1. At the 30. At the 40. Down the sideline. Across midfield. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 46. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, looking. He's looking for his man. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Second and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Here comes the pressure, and he's gonna come up with a sack. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. Ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Number one fields it in the end zone. He jukes. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 21 yard line. They line up in a double tight set. A little juke. There he goes. And he's taken down. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and 10. Ball on the 33. They line up in an eye. Play action, lets it go, and he can't hang on to it. Incomplete pass, number 49, the intended receiver on the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. On Ball on their own 33. The Eagle come out showing three wide. He's looking, steps up in the pocket, complete. And they make the stop. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. Boston College sets up in the eye. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled a couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 49. Ace backfield. A little misdirection. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Third and two coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Three wide outs here. On the ground with the tailback. He jukes it. And they make the stop. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 15 with three wide receivers. Off. 
Brought down. About six yards on the play. Second and four coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in an eye. Here's a counter play. Oh, what a move. They'll bring him down. He picked up big yardage on that one. I'll tell you what, Brad. They need to keep giving this kid the football. He's on a roll. Look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Nice play fake. Rolling out to the left side. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Back to pass. Steps up. Brooks. Under heavy pressure. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And they'll return this one all the way. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. Touchdown, UConn. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that could happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Connecticut 17, Boston College 10. Kick this one off, number 84, and number one back ready to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number one fields it in the end zone. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Yo, he's in a lot of pain down there. I hope he can bounce back from this one, you guys. He's a good kid. They'll start this drive at the 18. Boston College comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Inside handoff. He's got an opening. And he's tackled. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 31. Boston College sets up in the eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Eagle come out in the shotgun. He steps up looking. Short talk. Couldn't haul it in. Dropped by the wideout. Number 82. The intended receiver on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Eagle line up with two tight ends. He drops back. 
He's going left. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 20. And he's taken down. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. Take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. He spins, and they make the stop. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Of scrimmage. A handoff on the counter. Touchdown, BC. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. Boston College, 17. Connecticut, 17. like they're ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Number 41 fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 17. The Husky set up in the gun. They go with the option. And they hit him in the backfield. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 16. The Husky line up with two tight ends. Throws this one out to the right. Look at the power. And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. And he's taken down. The halfback picks up a yard. And so we've reached the end of quarter number three here with one quarter to go. We're all tied up. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 44 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. And they make the stop, pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third and eight, ball on the 34-yard line. Number 44 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's going right. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. Hey. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Connecticut comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He rolls out to the right. Aaron and out long. It's tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. So it's second and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Again with the run. Makes a move. Here he goes. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they'll score. Nice ball. Nice blocking. And an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his big playability was because the offensive lineman executed their assignments to perfection. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Number four. Fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. Take over at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Boston College goes with the ace set here. They'll bring him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 24. They'll work from the shotgun. Play action. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go. He's got it. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26. get the call again. Tries to juke. And he's tackled. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Right. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. They'll get six yards. The Eagles go with the eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he is drilled. Four yards on that play.
football time, folks. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Incomplete. The Eagle line up in a goal line formation. Thrower scramble for the first. He'll dump this one off. Touchdown, Boston College. So they go to the big guy for six. Man, is that guy huge. He looks like a left tackle snatching balls off the air down there. Tax on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Boston College to kick this one off. Number 83 and number 41 set to return. Kicks it off. Number 41 fields it at the two. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. Walks this one out to the left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A four-yard loss. Steps up, throws to the middle, and it's caught, brought down. That's a seven-yard gain. They're down in seven, ball on their own 28. Connecticut lines up in a shotgun set. He steps up, looking over the middle. And he's got him again. And they make the stop. It's first and 10, ball on the 49. And if anyone can make a play on defense, it's the defensive end down there. And he can't make the catch. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Second and 10, ball right around midfield. formation here. Nice play fake. He's drilled as he throws, and now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Connecticut goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. 
Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Husky set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Short toss. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Second and seven coming up here, and this is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in an eye. Back to pass. Throw short. It's deflected. That close to being intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Connecticut comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. He fires right. Incomplete pass. I know that pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason it's out there is to catch the football. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. It's up. And it sails through the upright. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. At the 23-yard line, first and 10. Boston College comes out in the shotgun, throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 23. He drops back, steps up with the throw, complete, and he's taken down. Boston College takes a timeout. Third and one, ball on their own 32. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boston College calls a timeout. They have to try to convert here. Play fake. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught. And they make the stop. That play could not have come at a better time. Oh, that was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. Yep. The defense thinks they got him right where they want him. And then, first and ten. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. A little shake and bake move. Brought down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Boston College takes a timeout. Right. 
Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Back to Pat. He's in trouble. They'll make the sack. the end of the ball game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Connecticut really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Connecticut 27, Boston College 24. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Street and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.